Shalom, shalom. Greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless our Father for such an opportunity to grow in the knowledge of Him and discover ourselves as well. Now I pray for you that the presence of God, the presence of God, will manifest in a strong way that you will not doubt His union with you. And I pray that everything concerning you will be affected. You will see the newness of life, the experience of His person and power in your world, in your universe, in the name of Jesus Christ. He has taught us. He has revealed us. He made it real. He did it all. Christ Jesus redefined humanity, redefined our identity saved us from the fall of man, led us into his glorious presence, made us one with him. In Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 we read, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, there's a, a version called Knox, and Knox says, A son who is the radiance of his father's splendor. So the radiance of his father's splendor. He says that if the father has any splendor, the son is that radiance oh my god the sun is that radiance do you know that when he's talking about the sun that there's here double application one is talking about the sun as jesus christ but he's also talking about the sun meaning what you became so he is the sun of the living God Christ but he's also talking about what you became that when you become the son of God this is your true description and your true identity it means you are the radiance of his of your father's splendor <laughs> he is already telling you how your life should look like what he thinks about you, his plan about you. In the Old Testament, we read, about, we read a prophecy as a prophet who spoke about the plans of God and he said, I know my plans concerning you. They are not evil plans, but these are plans, the plans, the plan is to give you an expected end. It was a prophecy in the Old Testament, but now it has been fulfilled. The fulfillment is that we are today the radiance of our Father's splendor. It is what we are. It is who we are. It is what became that prophecy of the expected end that the prophet talked about. This plan is consummated in Christ Jesus. A son who is the radiance of his father's splendor and the full expression of his, of his being 
The full expression of his being, the being of God, is revealed in the Son. So when we are told that we are sons of God, this is exactly what he's talking about. The expression of the being of God. <laughs> my, my, my. This is exactly who we are. This is exactly what we have. This is exactly what we became. The express image of God's being. It talks about the radiance of the splendor of God. That that's what the Son is, Christ Jesus. But also that is who you are because you are now the Son of God. You are the Son of God and therefore you are the splendor of His radiance. My, my. The version called MSG puts it this way. This sun perfectly mirrors God and is stamped, stamped with God's nature. This sun perfectly mirrors God. So there is no man or anything that has ever been, that has ever perfectly mirrored God except the sun. So the sun is the one who perfectly mirrors God. If you're the son of God, then you are perfectly mirrors, you mirror, you are perfectly, you are the perfect mirror of God. This is what the meaning, the, the meaning of the word son. So Christ is the perfect mirror, but you are also the perfect mirror. Whatever Christ is, is your true identity. He says, and is stamped with God's nature. The mirror of God is stamped with God's nature. So you are stamped with God's nature. Imagine, to be stamped. You are proved. You are, you have become. It is stamped. That the nature of God is in you. This is exactly what we see in Christ. And this is exactly what you should see in yourself. This is what the gospel teaches. The word, the, the version called way, he says, he says, he is the image that bodies out for us the essential being of God. The essential being of God. Jesus is the image that bodies out for us the essential being of God. It is he who bears unto its goal all God's universe. Through the word, which is the conducting medium of God's power. So he reveals to us that he is the image, the bodies out for us, the essential being of God. For the first time, you're seeing the essential being of God being revealed to us. And that is exactly who we are. Oh my, my. Oh, glory to God. The sun is the radiance of his glory. Just as the ray is the light of the sun. He is the exact impression of his being. Just as the mark is the exact impression of the seal. Did you hear that in Buckley version? He says, He is the exact impression of his being, just as the mark 
is the exact impression of the seal. So the exact impression of the seal is equated to the exact impression of the of the being of God in Christ Jesus. So looking at him, looking at the expression of the image of the being of God, and that is you. Notice, I'm emphasizing that what Christ is, is who, what you became, because you are the son of God. From the same nature, from the same father, he's called the elder, the firstborn among many brethren. The word is Adelphoi. Adelphoi means you share the same father. You are from the same womb. That is the meaning. It means you are so one. That is exactly what we became. This is exactly what the gospel presents to us. God's glory and the perfect representation of his being. And that is exactly what is telling us. He is the reflection of God's glory and the perfect re representation of his being. So the perfect representation of the being of God himself is Christ. So he's saying you are now the perfect representation of God's being today. That is your true identity. And I'm saying this is exactly what Adam missed. Even the image, the little he had, the photocopy he was, he missed it. He did not believe into that. He did not stay, he did not stick to that truth. He believed the deception from the mouth of the snake. What are we listening to today? What is this mouth of the snake representing? What, is this, what are these words from the snake representing today? Anything that is speaking to you, something that is contrary to your true identity, is represented as a snake. The snake is a representation of deception. And it can be a person who preaches to you. It can be a book that you read. It can be the news you listened to or believed. That is represented as a snake. Because any deception, any lie that comes to you, which is contrary to your true identity, is represented as a snake. You don't have to miss the point. You have. To stick to this truth. Your true identity is revealed in Christ Jesus. And who is Jesus Christ? The expression, image. Of the person of God. And the brightness of his glory. And that is what he made you to be. That is exactly who you are. Right now and today. Now recognize that. Recognize that. Acknowledge that. That is the experience of salvation in its fullness. Shalom, shalom.